although I have no idea where we are. Oh, we're going to talk about hacking the M chip. Griffin, you better do it quick because we got one, two, I guess like two and a half stories left, but not much time okay. to do it. We got 10 minutes. You, you got to motor mouth your way through this. Hackers can exploit flaw in Apple M series processors. This is the biggest story of the week on cultimac.com. Security researchers have found a serious exploit in all Apple M series processors. The flaw exposes, exposes precious encryption keys and it's baked into the hardware, so it can't easily be patched without a performance penalty. Bad news. Wow. Encryption is used to keep information that travels over the internet private. It's what makes online shopping possible. It you know, ensures that nobody can read our texts, uh, which is why it's troubling, to say the least, that security researchers at some of America's top universities found a way to make M-series processors leak the encryption keys that could unlock all of that security. The proof of concept tool is called GoFetch. Um, so one of the ways M-series processors you know, offer such great performance is with what's called the Data Memory Dependent Prefetcher, or DMP. Uh, this is what fetches data into the CPU cache, which is basically like a, a faster form of memory available to the processor. The DMP will read through the contents of program memory, look for pointers to any other locations of memory, and copy the reference data in advance. And this is where the researchers found the leak. They, they feed the DMP a bunch of cryptographic related like instructions in, in their program. Then they look at all of the pointer values that the DMP spits out. And over the course of a couple hours, they can piece together an entire cryptographic key out of your Mac. Now, the good news is there are no examples of the DMP flaw discovered by researchers and actually used by hackers. Um, and the other good news is that on M3 chips, there's a built-in toggle switch that can disable the DMP and that fixes the leak but it does mean that running all these, you know, cryptography software instructions without using the DMP, like entirely in software without using the hardware, will slow down the Mac. Um, and the bad news is that there's no toggle switch like that on the M1 and M2 chips. So just uh, be careful. Oh, great. I guess, guess you got to upgrade to M3. <laughs> no problem. So, <laughs> only the M3 feature. <laughs> only the M3 Max chip is safe. Everyone better go upgrade, and only the 40 GPU core model, of course. Mm -hmm, not mm -hmm. that I, I uh, <laughs> that's actually probably not true. Don't sue me. Uh, but yeah, now I can't use my so favorite it, cryptography apps. Yeah. So if and when it goes beyond the proof of concept stage, uh, the exploit will need to be delivered in the usual ways: a virus or a Trojan horse, and software that protects against these. Uh, should block attempts to install the malware. So, you know, basically just install your software security updates on your Mac. Uh, 